This man's condition is deteriorating. What says Dr. Fuller? It's his patient, after all. He... He's busy with Captain Fitzroy. Oh, I'm playing his oh, He specifically okay. asked us not to bother him when that's the case. Oh, of course. I'll see what I can do. Mr. Oh, Blake, can you hear me? Oh, I'm Dr. Oh, Cole. We'll take English. care of you. Walking. There's nothing we can do. I tried talking to him. He's catatonic. Catatonic what? I didn't pay attention to the no, shit. Very well. I'll okay. examine him. Oh, that. Oh, well, shit. <laughs> I didn't think that cut off my dialogue option. I thought that just an unknown medicine. It causes heavy side. I wonder. <laughs> yeah, that, that's kind of. Oh wait. Oh, I got this. Here's part of the. His skin shows a loss of color and seems dried out. He's totally dehydrated. His fingertips and toes seem to feature a slight ring under the skin. Tender at the touch. Slightly sticky. Sticky. Yeah, 30 year old bigger. subject. Severe hypothermia. Erythematous papules around the eyes and eardrums. Oh my god. Oh, Necros pollutant tissue. Lord, this. Words. Big medical words. Severe I mean, malnutrition. Use like these Swollen abdomen with traces of petechia. Oh, doesn't seem like the hard on slight those. protuberances seem to indicate the of a foreign body. Like a so, doctor, an opinion? I'm not sure I have the necessary knowledge to treat this man. My opinion? You're Don't ugly. say that. You're our most worthy doctor, after Dr. Fuller. Some of his symptoms are beyond yeah. my comprehension. Right. What did you find? So, um, his feel of dehydrated isn't as big as the other ones. Did you examine his abdomen? It would seem there's something inside. Yeah, and it's not. Edema. No. Can't you recognize an edema? Pushing with your finger won't leave a trace. And look at these bumps. <laughs> it's not like he. Whatever it is, <laughs> this man has something inside him that yeah. shouldn't be there. We should operate on him at once. Dr. Fuller, to worry. The Cthulhu edema would go away by belly. itself. It's you know, burst out. I'm not sure Dr. Fuller is telling the truth. Oh, sh**. Okay. In spite of the muscle contractions, his arms seem limp. Yes. They can't have decalcified. Not at this rate. And yet... If there is a bone in this arm, it's softer than that of a newborn baby. What about his cranium? It's soft at the touch. It does seem like the skull of a baby. Look at these sticky rings growing at his fingertips. What can be happening? Or you'll find an explanation. You have to. So it's gonna be me. Ice of hypodermic, but he's still dehydrated. When was his last IV? He's constantly under perfusion. I've even gone beyond the recommended dose to... And you won't believe me, but... It's getting real piss out When we guy. bathed him earlier, the fucking he seemed to feel be better. Gone. Yes. Think he'd be out like of he needs an now. aquarium, not so perfusion. Like NPCs, but that doesn't explain like his condition. I almost don't believe it myself, but these symptoms yes. are not those usually associated with the human species. What do you mean? He's becoming a Don't tell man. me you believe in extraterrestrials. No. No. This poor man is I mean, from our world, all right. But his body is undergoing unnatural mutations. And this transformation is killing him. His body simply yeah, can't cope. Where could he have gotten such an infection? I pray that it's not he. Dr. Cowden, may I know what you're doing to my patient? What I'm doing? Examining him. How about what you've done to him? Let us calm down, my dear Marie. I don't appreciate your tone, nor your insinuations. I've okay, done to Dr. him Strange. what I do to all my patients. Provide him with the best oh available God, care. Your imagination is without limit. It's your homemade drug again, is it not? Those people are not your guinea pigs. There, there. 
What have you seen to put you in such a state? You're turning him into a... I've seen suction cups on his fingers. <laughs> his fallen body temperature. Holy fuck, His dehydration. Really? You read the report. You know what I would have concluded, Fucking Doctor. Suction cups. Do I? Tell me anyway. I'm curious. He's no longer human. These are the attributes of an animal. Fascinating. An animal, you say? Size. Cephalopod, perhaps. This amuses you. Your reaction Fuck. does. I know your thirst for knowledge, Doctor. It's your it's innocent worries for this man that have you overreacting. For this man, and scientists. the others whose medical files you've been hiding. I have to protect my discovery. These people owe me their that life, but the world isn't ready yet. Discoveries. It will be, in time. I will not let you do this. You disappoint me, Marie. Yeah, but I still have hope you'll one day share my point of view. In the meantime, take care of your own patients, and not to forget who you're dealing with. She's so gonna try and kill her. But she's gonna be like, I'm gonna threat? try and expose What you. did he mean? It was, was a warning. Dr. Fuller is this institution's founder and one of our profession's most influential voices. My word is of no weight against his. If I continue to protect her reputation and career, it's scandalous. Can't we do anything? Is there no evidence of his crimes? I disapprove of Fuller's methods, but his treatments have saved more lives That's than I can count. And Mr. Blake, I I you said yourself out. he was dying. For what to think for now? What I'm sure of is that all. Fuller is hiding yeah. something from us. And I to need save. to know He's what that is be before discreet. I take a chance in him. And where would you find those? In his office? What if you get caught? I'd rather not think about that. I'm counting on your discretion. Yeah, no, no. Of course, Doctor. You can count on me. I'll keep mum. What? What the fuck are you talking about? Is that gonna have a high prompt? God, this place is looking massive. I don't know where the fuck I'm going. The must be hidden in Fuller's office. Everybody says it. She's a witch. An old hag. I didn't make this up. And I'm the It's temperamental, if I understand what I correctly. Doing? What, are, what the fuck am I? Oh, she was following the pots, okay. It's temperamental, if I understand correctly. That was pretty awkward. No seats. Can I talk to this bitch? Elizabeth? You alright? Why is this a state? Because, as always, I'm cleaning it by myself and was once again shut off this morning. I had to bother Mrs. Donovan again, giving her a new excuse to belittle me. Do you really need Mrs. Donovan to open a valve? Why not ask the janitor? I can't make these decisions without her approval. Imagine if there were a leak. Anyhow, the boiler room is locked half the time. So every time the water gets shut off, I have to go and endure her repro- Settle the problem. See. What is that button? Courage, on? Elizabeth. Oh, it's just clipping. Thank you, color. Doctor. That's why I was making that weird collar look. Oh no, that's potential. Okay. I was wondering what was up with that, but I have no fucking clue where I'm going. Oh my god, I was hoping I couldn't open this already so big. This fucking area. Shit, the amount of hidden shit that could be in here. I'm assuming with this character, medicines are like fucking max. Oh god, that's super hidden. Cupboard. Hiding cupboard. I have little time. Wait a minute. Where do you think you're going? Dr. Colton. Mrs. Donovan. Nobody goes into Dr. Fuller's office. 
but rest assured, yeah, I'll tell him you came by. Him that won't awesome. be necessary. Thank you. I will tell him, nonetheless. So it's like clipping through what happened. Wait a minute. Where do you think you're going? Dr. Colden. Mrs. Donovan. Nobody goes into Dr. Fuller's office. But rest assured, I'll tell him you came by. That won't be necessary. Thank you. I will tell him, nonetheless. Gotta get that bitch the fuck out of here. Let's hope I can go through the administration office. I think you gotta walk straight. I wonder if this is happening now. Yeah, it's gotta be. It's gotta be happening right now. The door to the boiler room is locked. I wonder if this. I is have just... to get the key if oh, I wish to get rid of Donovan. Oh, Which it feels like. I'm not little... joking. I saw the schedule. She's alone in the room again, and she still says nothing to that old witch, Donovan. Listen to the way you talk, you naughty girl. <laughs> and the answer is no. You can imagine that she doesn't dare say a thing. That silly goose lets herself be trodden on. Oh well, at least we won't have to clean for a while. And just wait and see the next I mean, time the that, but... cut off. It's a real show. Yeah, so I, I just use her. Dr. Colden? Hello, Betty. Hello. I'm looking for the key to the boiler room. What for? To put it in its place. Perhaps I should do the same with you. I beg your pardon? I suspect you of having a little tomb at Elizabeth's expense. But be warned, it could easily be you they will all be laughing at tomorrow. You are right, Doctor. The, the, the key is in the dormitory office in, in Block B. Like Thank you. I shall go fetch it. Journey does that. It's like a jack. It's not even a mop, it's just a broom with like a dowel on it. It looks even worse. Watch out for the water, Doctor. Yeah, okay. We've been waiting to be restocked for weeks. Oh, this is nothing to steal from We're running out of this medicine. I know, Doctor. We sent the purchase order, though, but Mrs. Donovan refused. Once again. Can't you do anything? Donovan takes her instructions directly from Dr. Fuller. I'm afraid I can do nothing about it for the moment. So she's just a bitch to everyone. We're waiting on news regarding our mother, Maureen Harding. She came in with a kidney problem. Heard anything since? I'm sorry. Dr. Fuller is a very busy man. Well, is there anyone else who can tell us what's going on? She's our only family, you know. But we can't even see her medical file. Don't worry. I'm aware our institution is not always welcoming. But your mother is in good hands. I'll tend to her myself. Keep you informed at once. Would that suit you? Well, that sure sounds great to us, Doctor. Thank you. But those are just words. Oh, so, Jake, at least I'll know where to find you. Patients and hospital personnel eat the same food. Mm -hmm. That looks like fucking trash. Whatever the fuck that is, though. Chest. Oh. His perfusion of a semi-physiological solution oh doesn't God, seem... He's undergoing a ventricular fibrillation. Nurse? Deborah, Come and help me, please. Potassium level is too high. Replace it with 2% glucose solution with insulin, calcium, and sodium bicarbonate. I'll tend to away. Thank you. He's in your hands. Interesting little cool side um, objective there just to show you how good she is at her job. 
chronic insomnia, like half the island. The answers must be hidden in Fuller's Everybody office. Everybody says it. She's a witch, an old hag. I didn't make... He broke his back in an accident by the docks. Ah, uh, the whaling station. What's wrong with me? What are you talking about? Uh, doctor, is that you? Yes, it's Dr. Colden. Tell me what happened. It's the old whaling station. See? The one that hides the smuggling business. No, not them. They don't go on that side of the island. Everyone in his place. The captain on one side, Cat on the other, and me. Well, I've been to the whaling station, I have. What did you see there? Nothing, nothing at all. The floor was all rotten and I fell straight through. And that's how you broke your back? Perhaps. No idea. Passed out. Yeah, that's right. Just like the other guy who died before. Passed out and forgot. Why did nobody tell me about her admission? <laughs> Holy fuck. Mrs. Sanders? So, Doctor, have you been able to examine our mother? Pardon me, but could you remind me what her case is? We're waiting on mother, Maureen Harding. She came in with a kidney problem, but we haven't heard anything since. I'm sorry, but I don't have time for this right now. They're taking us for fools. Ah, oh, so there's Harding. She's still sleeping. Given her file, a nephrectomy would have been inevitable. But Fuller was able to save her kidney. No one. No one able to save the kidney. So, Doctor, have you been able to examine our mother? I've tended to her, and I have good news. Her blood analysis is reassuring. Her kidneys are as new. Are you talking about the same person? This is miraculous. You may speak to her upon her awakening. Oh, thank you so much, Doctor. We'll wait for her to wake up. We've been here since this morning, so it won't make a difference. Interesting. Key to the All I have to do is the water and hope don't evade. I like how this is secretive, so there would be another way into the office. Even though that one seems like the main way to get in. Intoxication from breathing organic vapors. Another insomniac. I should find the cause for such a widespread. Dr. Colden, here you are at last. This patient was again brought up to the psychiatric wing. We've been following the treatment you prescribed, but the dyskusia persists and he's lost a great deal of weight. We haven't been able to move him. The stress makes him hyperallergic. Sir, I am going to examine you. Do you understand? In dose of pentobarbital, intramuscular, so that I can clinical examination. He bit his lips so much still bleeding. Quite froth. Evidently because of such drooling. I can't oh. His binds left bloody wounds. Doctor, what should we do with this patient?
Those basement brutes tied him up too tight, and now he's hurt. I keep trying to heal his wounds, but he reopens them. Do you have a diploma as a nurse? Excuse me? So take care of this man. <laughs> This is where we hang the key to the boiler room. Dr. Fuller always keeps his key with him. Thank you for your help, Doctor. Thank you. I'll be going. <laughs> uh, that seems fucking pointless as fuck. Where did my fiance go? Those nutcases will stop burdening her. I... What are you doing here? I'm waiting for my medication, of course. Why? What medication? You're not here for treatment, right? Am I so obvious? <laughs> Only to me. I know you worry about to see you. Me too, Ethan. Is that I can't all? The camera this time. Well, there might be something else. I'm not sure. Tell me. I have nightmares. Yeah. They keep me awake every night. It seems stupid, I know, but they're terrible. Actually, you're not the only one. Uh, no. The whole fucking town. No one has ever seen the things I see. It's like I'm turning mad. So many people have this affliction. It's like an epidemic. Think it might be related to Fuller's work? Nothing I don't do know before. yet, but I will figure all this out. Fuller Everyone in Darkwater is suffering from nightmares. Really? I don't have any medication left. Oh, there's no excuse then. I should let you work. Take care, Ethan. You too, Marie. I don't get why they have us waiting so long. Almost no people here. It's a quiet little town. Days go by, steady as ever. I wanted more for myself, but... There's no way I'm leaving until I find what Fuller is hiding. <laughs> uh, of course I wouldn't have been able to leave, but... Always worth Sorry, but nobody can take anything until I finish the inventory. Okay, fuck you too. The operating room is never accessible after an operation. Okay. I got keys to the boiler room. So where the fuck's the boiler room? Oh. <laughs> Straight out there I Oh wow, this is fucking evil gas. I didn't make this up. And I'm the one who pays. All right, Dr. Colden? All is well, Elizabeth. Thank you. I was making sure the water wasn't cut off yet again. Thank God, no. The water's running. I have no desire to call Donovan for help. Okay. Courage, Elizabeth. Thank you, Doctor. Like, courage. I just, just randomly started saying that to people instead of like, goodbye. Just courage. Like, fuck, what? Tool, tool, tool. Do you have a tool? Doctor Colden? Is this a tool? Where are you? That is a fucking genre. 
back, so I should be able to go into the toilet then. Wherever that was. There's a thingy. It's off to the yeah, so we should yep. I feel guilty about Elizabeth, but I need the diversion. The operating room is never accessible after an operation. Uh, yeah, this is her. Right. She didn't come in here. Holy shit. She got to equip. At last. The missing files must be hidden here. And you don't have no wind wall good. Something is wrong with these masts sort of puzzle. I've unlocked something. Patient. And files. I was right. Finger belonged to a woman. Why keep it here? Did he call his fucking finger? It goes without saying that these peculiar movements of the price had come to the shit. It's actually really hard to heal with this thing, so I've got to read the fucking. It's like that's going to be a fucking thing to touch. Why is Ethan on medication? He's probably seen the nightmares too. I was curious if he's trying to fight Cthulhu. Why does Doctor with... psychological reports about Sarah Hawkins? Souls downstairs are not Fuller's only subjects. Someone's gonna come in and find her up and drink. Now I'm gonna find out something big. I presume that he will try to break into the basement sooner or later. Well, I am prepared. He, he knows how I tried to break. 
break into the basement. What? Hawkins, Fitzroy, and Fuller. What is the connection between right these three? Right before I tried to, the haunt them. So it's definitely connected to the cult. is the connection. Yeah. Yeah, it was. Congrats. <laughs> Congrats on finding out the obvious there. Uh, from our... I must go to the basement. She's gonna be right there or some shit, ain't she? Huh? Stairs. That's outside. Exit. Fuck me. Swing. Storage room. Block A. There's nothing in this storage room. Yeah, so it must be this thing. Oh, it's just open, yeah. It's not allowed in here, so I'm just gonna go off pretty quick. But there's always stuff in the basement. Yeah, it's just not allowed in. Look at this fucking Silent Hill car shit. Oh, wow. Wowee. Oh, straight the fuck away. Here we go. Is there a fucking dead guy there? No, it's just tools that are broken. Saving the big doors. Hey! Ah, now that's the Marie that I know. I, I knew I could count on your scientific curiosity. It's time to show you what you were so eager to discover. You could have done that without driving me, so. That's how I know what's mine yet. What the fuck am I doing with the If oh, you're gonna shoot guy. me, at least have the decency to look me in the eyes. Turn around. Holy fucker. Slowly. Right, I didn't remember his name. Talk, filthy thief! Oh, I swear I'll shoot! That was a bit awkward. He should have just had his gun out straight away. Huh. Surprisingly, this isn't a timed one. It was Charles Hawkins. You're gonna regret it. You're not a killer. Yeah, Take a minute to look around. Everything points to it. Charles Hawkins. He's dead! No. He was here for a very specific item. Oh. No. The book. Why was it in the safe? No, Have you read it? Quick. Answer the question. How foolish of you. Now you won't be able to escape his will. <laughs> what did it show you? <laughs> oh, I love that sort of. Of course, he was obsessed with the book, so of course it'd be the Necronicon. I'm surprised he's had it for such a long time enough to make all that shit, but... I saw through someone's eyes. <laughs> She went into Fuller's office. She was looking for Sarah Hawkins' corpse. Sarah Hawkins, you say? Let's go back to the start, shall we? Whose life did the Necronomicon choose to show you? Dr. Colton. She was at the Riverside Institute. She's in danger. I have to go. Wait! No one knows the occult better than me. Yeah, you might need my help. 
barely got out last time. All right. All right. I might need to my destiny. Cthulhu symbol. Let's meet later at the Hawkins space. mansion. Now go. Rescue the doctor. Thank you, Drake. This is fucking the guy that I have on my team, though, not a fucking cop guy. I trust this guy. Even though I... Now there's a pretty meme. Exquisite.